take on TNA Explosion. Gia Miller goes around the ring with Havoc of Decay. Plus, the Don West, you gotta be kidding me, top five trending topics of the week. And our main event, we'll see Leon Slater go one-on-one -on -one with Zachary Wentz of the Rascal. But first, TNA Plus presents From the Vault. Explosion starts now. Yeah, Tessa is the favorite, it seems, everywhere she goes. Five athletes competing, but only one can leave tonight as X Division champion. You climb the ladder. Tessa with a big kick there to Ace Austin. Tessa going right after the defending champion. Why not light Look up? At those strikes. She's like Mike Tyson. Lightning quick. Ducks the lineup. Jake Chris catches him with the cutter. cutter. Tessa's had her issues with OVE throughout her career, and she wants to take out Jake Crist here tonight. Tope on Jake Crist. What makes Tessa special is she is probably the most aggressive athlete we have. Man, woman, doesn't matter. Flies Pure aggression, Josh. Takes out Jake Crist yet again. And she's not done going after the champion. Oh, he caught her with a cutter. Jake Crist caught Tessa Blanchard with a cutter there. Veteran move by Jake. Back inside the ring, there's Daga. The newest protege of Conan in AAA. As he goes off the back of Ace Austin. Ooh, quick kicks there by Daga. Ace Austin's been a controversial character in recent weeks, as we know. That's one way to put it. We saw him earlier tonight in the women's locker room with his towel around his waist talking to Alicia Edwards. Trying to have a shower. In the wrong locker room. Da oh! Wow! Space fly tiger drop by Ace Austin. What an athlete. Wow. AC Romero, did you see that, Don? Like getting hit with a battleship. AC Romero is massive. Look at AC inside the ring, and he catches Daga with a drop kick. Well, we talked about his ability to do things that he doesn't look like he should be able to do. We just saw a taste of it with that drop kick. Always impressed with AC Romero, and we've seen him on our Impact Plus and Twitch specials. Daga now will look to take advantage of Ace. Daga goes off the back of Ace Austin. Corkscrew press, literally using Ace to vault over the top rope. The champion, Jay Christ, has been in trouble since the opening bell. Well, when you're the champion, you are a target, and now, is Daga looking for a ladder? What's going on? Well, there's ladders surrounding the ring. Daga is looking for something underneath the ring here in Chicago. AC Romero's in the ring alone. The championship's high above him, and well, Tessa and Daga, they were partners on impact. But it's every man and woman for themselves here tonight. Tessa and Daga in a tug of war. Oh, oh my God. God, oh my God, oh my God, look at AC, baby, go! Oh, God! AC Romero! Tried for a corkscrew tope. And Tessa and Daga clubbed him with that ladder. Watch and listen. Oh, God. Another tug of war here, three way this time. And oh, Jake Christ, he's trapped. Ace Austin like a magician. Oh, oh, how about three? Code breaker, backstabber. Ah. Ace smartly rolling to the apron. And now you've got Daga and Tessa Blanchard again squaring off for the second time in this match. AC Romero. Oh. Daga ducked, Tessa did not. AC goes the other side. Oh, yeah, good luck trying to hit a cutter on AC. Yeah, Daga went for a cutter and AC Romero about threw him out of the ring. How the hell do you even weigh this guy? Truck stop scale. Well, threw him out of Chicago. Yep. AC Romero looked up there at the championship and oh, Ace Austin got caught and AC Romero's got a ladder. First time in this matchup, a ladder may be introduced inside the ring. Now I don't want to be overbearing with my commentary, but can this ladder hold AC Romero if he chooses to try to climb it? I don't know. It's a great question. 
And what happens if he destroys all the ladders? How the hell do you get the belt? Uh, looking up from where it is, I mean, it is hanging very high above the ring. We've got to widen out there just to see how high that championship is hanging. Now you get a good look at it. Jay oh. Christ has had enough of getting beat up on the outside. Oh, boy. AC said, oh. bring it on. Champion hasn't gotten out of the block stop. Jay Christ is a real spot picker. We saw that, but, man, it takes a lot to get AC off his feet, but the educated feet of Jake Chris have done the job. Now can Jake Chris climb the ladder? Don't waste time, Jake. Try to get after your championship. You're the marked man in this match. Who's that behind us? Is that Ace Austin? That's Ace Austin. Halfway up the ladder, back suplex. That's gonna hurt both individuals, but it stops the momentum of the champion momentarily from climbing the ladder. Ace has an opportunity here. Everyone else is down. Get up there. But I think he hurt himself delivering that back suplex off the ladder. Ace Austin digging deep. Daga now in hot pursuit. He stops the momentum of Ace Austin. Daga's got him up. What will we see here from Daga? Ace. Oh! Low kicks by Daga. Daga showing how quick he can be inside the ring. And now Jake is going to join AC. Unless he can beat him to the top. I don't know what Jake thinks he's going to do. Oh. Oh. Tessa Blanchard is trying to get inside the ring. She's able to move AC Romero out of her way. And now Tessa and Daga on opposite sides. Come on, Tessa. Are climbing these ladders, trying to get to the championship. Tessa looks fresher than Daga at this point, Josh. And now we've got one ladder. Daga and Tessa on the same ladder. Daga, oh God. Ace Austin shoved the ladder down and the competitors. Ace Austin delivers a big time move. Daga on a ladder, courtesy of Ace Austin, who's operating a little bit quicker now, Don. Yeah, he started to pick up the pace. Daga catches the elbow. How quick! Popped him with that Death Valley driver. Jay Christ. Oh! Version of the Canadian Destroyer through a ladder. Look at the carnage around the ring. Ace Austin. Wow! Wow! Back in the ring, AC Romero is back up, Josh. Can he get the ladder? AC Romero down has had more chances at this championship than anybody. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but I feel sorry for the ladder right now. Did he put it in a position where he can secure the championship? I think he's too far away, John. I think so, too. Tessa Blanchard. Oh, no, no, no. What is Tessa? He's, I don't think she's got the power. He's too big. I think so. He's too big. Oh, no, no, it's, no, it's no, rocking. No. It's oh rocking. God. It's rocking. Oh, my God. God. in Chicago. Come on, Tessa. Operating. God damn. There's Jake. That's Dave. 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 Dave Christ. Another disgusting OVE run in. She took care of him, though. She did. She took she care did. of him. And, and there's, a, there's another one. Madman Fulton. This despicable monster. Come on. See what 
was going to win the damn thing. Enough is enough with OVE and Tessa Blanchard. Clearly, OVE is trying to destroy Tessa. Not just cost her the match, but her career. They're hell-bent on destroying Tessa Blanchard. Disgusting is what this is. She was going to win this match. Madman Fulton. Table set up. Tessa Blanchard. She knows. Come on, mother She's got him. No, he caught her. She was looking for Magnum. He's got her up. He's going to powerbomb her through the table, Josh. Tessa with a run. He's headed to the Madman is down. Tessa Blanchard. She's going to go after the championship. OVE. She's going to win it. She's going to win it. Come on, Tessa. There's Jake Christ. Jake Christ is trying to secure his championship oh. and thwart Tessa Blanchard oh, on the goal big line. big right hands to the jaw by Tessa. She got, and Jake Christ goes through the table. Tessa New Blanchard is going to win the title. We're going to make history. We're going to make history here. Wait, it's Ace Austin. Oh, my. What the hell? He used that baton. That stick. Ace Austin's going to steal the X Division Championship. He did it. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner and new X Division Champion, the one true ace, Ace Austin. Ace Austin has stolen the X Division Championship tonight from Tessa Blanchard. She overcame a lot, but at the end it was too much. An ace, ever the opportunist, your new X Division champion. And now here on TNA Explosion, it's time for the Don West, you've got to be kidding me, top five trending topics of the week in honor of the late great TNA Hall of Famer, Don West. At number five, it was announced at Rebellion that our return to pay-per-view this summer will mark our 20th annual Slammiversary. For the first time ever, TNA Wrestling will be live in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Slammiversary will be live on pay-per-view and TNA Plus on Saturday, July 20th, and on Sunday, July 21st, TNA Wrestling presents Impact. Stay tuned to TNAWrestling.com for ticket information. At number four on the Countdown to Rebellion, which you can relive anytime on demand now on TNA Plus, we saw two championship matches, one of which Laredo Kid got another crack at Crazy Steve's Digital Media Championship, and the goal of Laredo Kid was finally realized. Laredo Kid captured his first championship in TNA, doing it for his fans and his family after nearly losing his life in late 2022 and making a spectacular return to professional wrestling in 2023. Congratulations to Laredo Kid, your new TNA Digital Media Champion. At number three, Rebellion was full of surprises and full of returns, one of which amidst the absolute chaos of the Knockouts World title match between Jordan Grace, the champion, and the challenger, Steph DeLander, the lights went out and it marked the return of the Callahan Death Machine. It's been quite some time since we've seen the former TNA World Champion, and Sammy Callahan picked up where he left off, wrecking house and helping to level the playing field on behalf of Jordan Grace. At number two, again, speaking of returns, we saw the return of the realist at Rebellion, Mike Santana, who had been gone from this company for five long years, has returned to TNA Wrestling. A four-time TNA World Tag Team Champion answered the challenge laid out by former TNA World Champion Steve Macklin, who was demanding a match at Rebellion. Santana was happy to oblige, and ultimately, Santana defeated Macklin. A hell of a homecoming for Mike Santana. And at number one, speaking of returns, perhaps the biggest one of the night, we thought the lights had gone out for Sammy Callahan and that was the end of it. No, no, the lights went out again at the end of the evening following the TNA World Championship match between Moose and Nick Nemeth and that controversy. 
Matt Hardy, the broken one, returned to TNA and made his presence felt, hitting a twist of fate on the TNA World Champion Moose. Truly a wonderful night for House Hardy at Rebellion. Still to come tonight, it's the prodigy Leon Slater squaring off with Zachary Wentz of the Rascals one-on-one. -on -one. But up next, it's Around the Ring with Gia Miller starring Havoc of Decay. That's next on Explosion. Welcome back to TNA Explosion, and now it's time for Around the Ring with Gia Miller. What's up, everybody? As always, I'm Gia Miller, and today on Around the Ring, this one is a, like, I know I say that, like, every time, every time it's a special one. Every yeah, time. But this one, this one is particularly special. Thank you. Because this, uh, it's Around the Ring. So we talk about yes. anything but wrestling. I am joined by the one, the only, the incomparable, she's my vet, she's my mom, she's my sister, she's my best friend, she's Jessica Havoc. Hi, everybody. <laughs> thank you so much for joining me. No, thank you for having me. Man, I appreciate it, you. we could honestly do a whole series, just you and I talking. We're yes. so subdued right now yeah. because the camera's on us. I know. We but, we have to be on our best behavior, I feel, and that's difficult, but it's okay. Uh, Josh Matthews references something uh, from a previous employer of his called <laughs> Strange Bedfellows, okay. and that's... Two people or a group of people that you wouldn't think mesh well, you wouldn't think get along. Yes. Um, but in this case, uh, they do. I would call us some strange bedfellows at, at first glance. Yeah. I mean, I, you're. we literally call you Little Jess <laughs> for a reason. So, yeah. yeah. So it, watch out. So watch out. Yeah. <laughs> I, got, I, got a, I got a lot of... A lot of a lot of havoc inside. A lot me. of built up, yes. Yeah. Anger, and, aggression. But but <laughs> enough about me. We gotta talk about you. Oh. Okay. There are so many <laughs> facets to Jessica, to Havoc, to Jessica Havoc. Yes. You do so many things. And I know this because, fun fact, uh, we live together on yes. at least twice. Twice, two, two different two occasions. Times. Both unplanned. Uh, it's it's funny because they're the first time. You were visiting the house just for a long weekend, mm -hmm. and then the lockdowns happened. Yeah, and then literally a, a long weekend turned into like three or four months of a hectic little, you know, I mean, because the house was, there was room, but it was. Sure, sure. It was, yeah. you know, yeah. And then, of course, when yeah. the other time being when you and Austin like when your guys' apartment caught fire. Yep, which, yep, my house burned down. Yeah. And, and so I moved back in with mom. I was like, well, come back home, baby. <laughs> I, I, all right, this we got to get to the nitty gritty. Okay. Uh, listen, you've got so much going on. Mm -hmm. You do so much. You're a gardener. You're a pet mom. I am. You are a podcaster. You are a streamer. Yes. Where do we even start with this? I kind of want to start with the podcast. Yeah. Okay. So I have a podcast called Bitter Buds, and it's alongside Alex Cologne. Mm -hmm. And it's just literally something that came into play because Alex and I, when we get together, we, like, I guess... We're, we're grizzled in the business, so we're like, we have a lot to say about stuff. And then one day, Sammy was like, you guys are doing a podcast because this this needs to be seen. So it's it's just a little fun YouTube thing we do, and it's, like, typically weekly. But, but yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Oh, it's so much fun. If you haven't checked it out, you got to check it out. And, yes. and, and that's only one of the things that you do. You were perfectly prepared for podcasting because you've been a streamer for a very long time. Yeah, I stream on Twitch and it's mostly video games and I've been streaming video games on Twitch for about 10 years. So I'm a Twitch veteran yes, as well. Yes, you are. But yeah, that's that's like what I do the most on my free time. If I'm not on the road, I'm on my Twitch channel. So y'all need to come watch my Twitch. And she's got <laughs> quite the following. I mean, yeah. what would you say is the... The, the ratio of, like, your fans that when they interact with you, like, first of all, may not even know that you're a wrestler. Oh, yeah. Or it's, vice versa. Well, there's a, there's a good about... I have about 17,000 followers now, but I could honestly say half of them had no idea that I was a wrestler when they joined the, the like, 
the Twitch stream. Yeah, the so, community. And they're like, wait, you wrestle? And I was like, oh, good. And they're my favorite because I'm like, yay, you don't know me from wrestling. You yeah. like my content. So yeah. That's, that's great. And it's also a great way to bring eyes to, to what we do here. I mean, yes. you are a seasoned veteran, not just in TNA, but... Uh, all over the world, everywhere you've been, you were a huge inspiration of mine personally. Thank you. And you know that. Your dog was gonna cry. Oh, oh no. no. That's so nice. But hey, it's the truth, baby. Yeah. I love you so much. I love you too. And I love uh, I love your babies. Tell yes. me about your babies. So I have three kitty cats and a little little dog. Um, Thea, Theodore Palsevelt, he's my oldest cat. He has thumbs. He, so he's automatically way better than everybody else's cats. Correct. And then, and you have a thumbcat too. And then I have Rudy the calico, and Lydia is my newest. And I got a little tattoo of a cat. It's a cat bat because she looked like a baby bat when she was a kitten. And then, of course, my my dog Charlie. He's a little Chihuahua Terrier mix. How old is Charlie? He's he's gonna turn fourteen this year. Oh my god! I don't like it. Hey, but he's still a puppy though. He's a forever puppy. Yeah. He's a sturdy fella. Man, these are, we've only touched on like the, just three of the things that make you, you. <laughs> there are so many things we could talk about, but unfortunately we're limited for, to yes. four minutes on yes. this show. Jess, I, so many, so many facets to you. So many mm -hmm. reasons why you're wonderful, you're incredible, and you are a treasure to have in a locker room and just, <laughs> just in the world so oh thank you thanks so much for joining me and thank you for having me. i gotta give you oh, a yay <laughs> and thanks guys for tuning in it's two besties yes it's around the ring thanks guys coming up next tna plus presents from the vault here on explosion welcome back to explosion and now tna plus presents from the vault Head and arm control here now. Mouth wide open though, and Macklin using his strength. How much energy did Steve Macklin waste right there? Is it wasted? Can he get a victory? Cover, cover here, two, no. Quickly goes for a second cover. And Macklin. Man, oh man, Steve Macklin, so impressive D'Lo Brown at this stage in the match. Look at what is left. After Macklin hit an amazing double team, he was able to get not one, but two covers on his challengers. If nothing else, he's making his challengers work. He's making them work, use energy, and, 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 and just wear themselves out. That's the purpose of how you beat somebody, and he's doing an effective job of maintaining control, both men, in a triple threat match. That's pretty impressive. Technically, I guess all three would be challengers. Just like that, oh. Trey Miguel hung up to dry. Trey's caught in the crosshairs. They're both caught in the crosshairs. Oh my goodness, Macklin's lining up. Damn! Can he go for the double dip? Oh no! The core strength of Trey Miguel gets him out of harm's way, rolls off of Macklin's back. And just like that, Trey Miguel defying gravity. What does Trey have in mind? Oh, oh, oh my God! I wish I could say that on air right now. <laughs> you don't have to, folks. What an amazing Bound for Glory moment we just saw. And Macklin's not done yet. And Macklin launched himself. Macklin stands tall in the ring. He's going again. Oh! Flying hip attack by Steve Macklin, and the smile on his face says it all. This man cares nothing about life and limb. He just goes right at it. Death before dishonor, Steve Macklin. What an amazing array of moves. Now, Macklin perhaps sensing X Division glory, climbing high. What a great shot at... Oh! oh wow, that hit right in the back of the head. Did you Macklin see that? Macklin couldn't even defend himself, didn't even see it coming. And now, El Fantasmo. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, and look, Bob Product fell right on Trey Miguel as well. This man floats through the air. He has wonderful, wonderful body control. The manipulation of time and space that is El Fantasma. Oh! That is Trey Miguel. <laughs> no man wants to be undone here. 
Bodies strewn across the arena floor. El Fantasmo's moonsault was beautiful. Listen to these people as you watch. And look at the way he floats. Indeed, this is awesome, and this is Impact Wrestling. Hell yeah, it is. What a great time to be a sports fan. We have the baseball playoffs going on, NFL in high gear, hockey's back, basketball's back. Down for glory is on the air. Oh, go for the meteor, no. Macklin gets out of the way. Oh, code it. red, code red, is it over? No. no. And look at that, look at that. Trey doesn't waste any time. Just. Grabs Macklin, pulls him right back into the... Oh, look at oh, Macklin! Okay. Look at Macklin, the inside crowd! Oh, no, the score package, no! Whoa, what an exchange there. Pass by. Oh. Miss Carey. Oh. Got him! Going for the cover. Trey looks out. Macklin's so smart. Oh. Pulling the arm away from the ropes. El Fantasmo sensed the urgency as well. El Fantasmo feared that would have been the end and, and did not want Macklin to walk with the exhibition championship right there. Once again, I think it's going to come down to, and I know it sounds crazy, the best wrestler in the match. There's these styles, styles makes make fights. These three wrestlers have such starkly different styles. It's gonna come down to the wrestling. And it's definitely gonna come down to the wrestling, but I will tell you this, right now, I've just been buzzed in my ear, right now, Impact Wrestling, Bound for Glory is training number eight in the world as we speak. Thank you to our fans. It's a long night. There'll be a lot to talk about. And now they're fighting up in, in the high rent district, and only a couple good things can happen from up here. Hashtag is bound for glory. El Fantasmo, another back break. And what is El Fantasmo doing? Oh! Look at Fantasmo. He's smart because he knows that Trey Miguel is still lurking. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. The Super Rana! Amazing. El up. What an amazing athletic display. And now El Fantasmo is about to become our new X Division champion. Here Macklin is. may be hurt. Cover here. It's no! How in the hell did Macklin kick out of that? Wow, amazing. Look at this. Look at this. Bang, Top Rana, and you see onto Trey the knees. onto the knees. And then Fantasmo doesn't stop. No. Able to take full advantage, but it was not enough. Waiting for the right opportunity to hit the splash, but you're right, not enough. Oh, and in the ring, we still have action going. Oh, double power bomb, sit out. Sit out. This is it. Brian Hebner right there. Oh. No. Really love the new jerseys our referees are wearing here tonight as well. Very unique. It's, it screams Impact Wrestling right now. Hard elbows there of Steve Macklin. He's fucking dead! Whoa. Okay. And now Macklin is uh, fired up. Five. Yeah. Macklin's never a guy who's out of control, but right there seemed a little out of sorts. Not a second here. Oh, go no. for the Meteor. No, Macklin's no, no. so powerful. Wow, oh, Trey, Matrix, Matrix out of the way. Oh, Got his footwork underneath him. Macklin down. Macklin out. El Fantasmo, Trey Miguel are left. Look at this. Shoulders are down. Ref is in position. Here it is. Here it is. No. Oh, I, I think myself and the entire arena thought that was it. Ah, went for the... Oh, what it, happened? <laughs> Trey's got a cup! Uh, Trey's got a cup! Hey, man, how many times have we seen Fantasmo oh. go low? Oh, bus oh. kick! Here it is! Yeah. Look at the power! Trey oh. Miguel! Buster. Dangerous Buster! Down! He up his rock! Trey Miguel going high! X Division title hanging in the balance! Is it Trey Miguel's time? Oh.
What an amazing moment. Trey Miguel has realized championship glory here in Impact Wrestling. And for all of us that know this young man, yes. deep down inside, it couldn't have happened to a better guy. Coming up next, it's Leon Slater battling Zachary Wentz in our TNA Explosion main event. Welcome back to Explosion, and now it's time for your main event. The following contest is set for one fall. Introducing first, Leon Slater. I am so excited for this matchup here on TNA Explosion because, gee, if there's anybody that I would associate the word explosion with, it's Leon Slater. Absolutely. What a great young chap. I'm happy to see him here in oh TNA. God. I put that good. And I'm really excited to see him here on Explosion. He showed out on the countdown to Rebellion, which you can relive on TNA Plus, hitting that Swanton 450 on Myron Reed to get the win for himself in the ABC. <laughs> His opponent being accompanied by Trey Miguel, representing the Rascals, Zachary Wentz. As I mentioned, uh, Pin Myron Reed, who was participating in that matchup as a part of the Rascals. So you can imagine Zachary Wentz uh, looking for some payback here in this match. Absolutely. And there was a lot of animosity going on between them during that uh, whole ballot box battle. On impact this week, yes. We did see uh, the Rascals stuff the ballot box, and Leon called them out for it, so it's time to settle the score. Leon did the right thing yes, at the end of the day. Absolutely. Ultimately, Santino Morel has been trying to determine the number one contender to the X Division Championship come under siege, which goes down on Friday, May 3rd, live on TNA Plus in Albany, New York. Tickets are available now via TNAWrestling.com. Mustafa Ali awaits the winner of next week's matchup between Trey Miguel and Ace Austin of the ABC. A lot of trouble between the ABC and the Rascals, especially, but the rivalry between Miguel and Austin goes way back. Oh, it goes so far back. So you know each of those competitors, they're gonna bring everything to the ring in order to face Mustafa Ali at Under Siege. I know both of them want to become X Division champions once again. Right now, I am so excited to watch this matchup. It's a first time ever encounter to the brightest young athletes in all of professional wrestling. Let's start with Leon Slater. What have you learned about him in his short time here in TNA? Gosh, I have just learned the work ethic that this man, this boy, this man, I will 19 call him. years old. 19 years old. He has got such a work ethic. There's a reason why he's so talented, so athletic. Athletic. It's because he puts his all in every single thing that he does. A great start here up against Zachary Wentz. Oh, oh, grabbing the dreads. Gaining a bit of an advantage. The official all over that. There goes Slater. Slung away by Zachary Wentz, former TNA World Tag Team Champion, also a former Tag Team Champion once upon a time in WWE. Oh, now. Oh, Whoa! Slater caught him on the comeback. Keeping Wentz close. Slater pushing the pace. Look at this. Oh, the springboard back elbow. Man, that's another thing I've learned about Leon Slater is that when I watch him in the ring, he's going to show me something I've never seen before. Don't blink with Leon Slater. He made Zachary Wentz think about that. Wentz and Miguel getting out of dodge, at least for the moment. <laughs> Miguel celebrating a little bit too early. Oh, and Wentz ripping Slater throat first into the top rope and then takes him off his feet. His doctor said he needed a backyotomy. <laughs> oh. I think he thought that was funny. There's a cover and a kick out. You people from Ohio. Uh, I, I, well, I, I don't want me in there. Man, Do not want me You're in there. You're guilty by association. You're Do I sound man. like I'm from Ohio? No. <laughs> Oh, now Wentz, shot to the chest of Leon Slater. When it comes to Zachary Wentz and Trey Miguel, as mentioned, stuffing the ballot box on the ballot box Battle Royal this past week on Impact. What's the state of mind right now for Wentz, especially? A lot of frustration for the Rascals lately. Oh, sure. Well, and they're so, they think that they deserve everything. They think 
that they should still be the tag team champions sure. at this point. Yes. But oh, oh. inverted atomic drop sweeps out the leg. Oh, wins with a BK. Here's the cover. Shoulders down. Kick out by Slater. And similar to Slater. Zachary Wentz and Trey Miguel alike, they'll do anything it takes to get what they want. However, their means are not quite as uh, gentlemanly as, as our young Brits. That's fair. Oh, uppercut here by Wentz. Yeah, Leon, he, he plays by the book. He plays by the rules, and I don't think uh, either of them have read a book in their entire lives. I'd have to agree with that. By breaking the count. Before the referee gets to five, the match continues. Wentz has got to be careful he doesn't get disqualified. And, and Leon's got to watch out for Trey on the outside. Oh, and for an axe kick right to the back of the head. Oh, double knees right to the face by Wentz. There's the cover. Oh, and a kick out by Slater. Because the thing about Trey Miguel being out here at all, like I said, they don't play by the rules. They're, he's not out here just to support his brother, to support his friend. He's out here to make sure that his friend wins. So the referee needs to keep a close eye on Trey on the outside, and so does Leon. Well, he's trying to set up Slater there for some offense. Slater felt it coming. Clearly has done his homework on wins. Oh, that kick right to the back of the head. And now we see that fire. We see it turn on. And things are about to get. Oh. Wentz able to sidestep Slater there, using those long legs to keep Wentz at bay. Mm -hmm. Off the top. Pick up the pace here on the move. Look out. Leon Slater with a boot right to the chin. Oh, now it's time. Slater wanted this earlier on and levels Wentz on the outside. We're going back in. You know what that means. We're going in and we're going up. We saw him at that Swanton 450 at the Countdown to Rebellion. Oh, oh. this one, he crisscrossed in midair. Oh, and a kick out by Wentz. Gosh, and he cleared almost the entire ring when he did that. I mean, Zachary Wentz was over in the other corner and still hit him. Leon still hit Wentz with his full body weight. Slater takes a lot of inspiration from NBA stars. That crossover in midair. A shout out to my Philly guy, Alan Iverson, in the process. But Slater, hell of a crossbody. Wentz is in trouble. What a matchup this has been. Almost feels like a game of horse, all the all the tricks we're seeing out here tonight. Now Wentz able to drop his body weight there, trying to prevent Slater. Oh! Kick right to the back of the neck. And, and, and Slater, he might be young, he might be a higher flyer, but I mean, look at the size on this guy. I mean, there is no stopping him once he gets going. As I mentioned, 19 years old has not even completely filled out yet, you know what I mean? Exactly, there's still so much room to grow, and he, I can tell he is growing. Uh -oh. oh, and he, right to the face. And now Wentz going back to this, boom, down goes Slater. Oof. Cover, shoulders pressed down, Slater gets the left shoulder up in time. Wow. Both of these guys have, like I said, given it their all, doing everything they can to pick up the victory here right now. But I don't know how much they've got left. Now Wentz measuring Leon Slater. Trying to put away this matchup. Hold on, let's think about the UFO cutter. Slater felt it coming, thought about the leg lariat. Oh, put right to the face, prevents the knee strike from Wentz. Now Slater, oh, it's oh. this time. Oh, no. And spring. Oh, oh he got caught in midair by Slater. Slater got the better of that exchange. Cover. Wentz oh. able to get his shoulder up in time. Oh, wow. Well, I, I, I really thought that that was going to be it. But Leon's got something else. Slater's got something else for him. What a sequence that was. Slater's going up on oh, McGill on the apron to distract Slater. Oh, now Wentz. Oh, oh ripping Slater off his perch. Oh, look out. There's the UFO uh, cutter. Is this enough? 
Wentz, thanks to the distraction of Miguel, puts away Slater. Here's your winner, Zachary Wentz. What did I say, Tom? What did I say? Any means necessary. And of course, Trey Miguel is here to make sure. Can we be Not looking at Trey Miguel as the new number one contender of the exhibition title from under siege? Find out this week on Impact.